Now, with news of some good news anyway, to cheer up football fans, Sarah with a sport. Yes. Something put a smile on their faces. Let's hope so, <laughs> Assad. Well, London sports fans are no strangers when it comes to paying over the odds for tickets, but there was some good news today. European football's governing body, UEFA, announced the prices for this year's Champions League final at Wembley. Following an outcry from fans in 2011, the cheapest ticket prices have been dropped, although some supporters say that £68 is still too high. The last time the Champions League final rolled into town, the cheapest ticket for your average Joe was £176. But some would have paid far more. 800 800 for a ticket for this big game? Yeah. Is that what it's worth? Yeah, it's worth more than that, but it's all I can afford. Tickets for this year's final will start at £68, following an admission by UEFA that they got it wrong in 2011. I think the reaction will be positive. Of course... For an event like the Champions League final, there will always be more people who want to get hold of tickets than there are tickets available. Arsenal are already the most expensive club in the country when it comes to charging for football matches. 25 up to £123 to watch a match here. They're also the only London club left in the Champions League. I would pay it, but I still think it's too expensive. £50 would have been nice. And uh, it's at Wembley, so the travel doesn't come into it much for a lot of people. Only 13,000 final tickets will be priced at the new lower rate. Would Arsenal fans pay £330 at the other end of the scale? Probably at a stretch go to 100. I would pay it because it's, um, it's only the second time Arsenal would have ever got to the Champions League final. Even though I am an Arsenal fan, it's just a bit too much. Um, my wages won't stretch that far. But experience shows fans will pay. At last year's Olympics, the top ticket for the men's 100 metre final was £725. And the men's Wimbledon final ballot tickets were £120, although debenture seats were sold for tens of thousands. It's a step in the right direction that UEFA have dropped their prices. But getting hold of one of those tickets is another matter entirely. Well, if you do want to get your hands on some of those tickets, they'll be going on sale in March. Staying 